Welcome back. Lather Attic here with another relaxing shade video. Saturday morning. I hope everybody is well. Subscribers, friends of the channel, welcome. If you're new, just watching this, right down there at the lower button, hit subscribe. Click that bell for great content like this. You will be welcomed to the crazy train. So I figured we would go because I've been using a lot of artisan stuff there. If I can point, there we go. Yeah. Like Vanna White, right there. Flip the, okay, never mind. Uh, I figured I'd go back old school, original, how I started. I still love using this stuff, man, it's great. Uh, Cremo, I gotta say it, man. Charlie Cremo in the house, I love using this stuff, man. It's probably got stuff in it that's not good for my skin, maybe, I don't know, stuff I can't pronounce, you know, 11 letter words. For the focus, I don't know, but dude, the performance is great. And this is refreshing mint. It smells just like a York peppermint patty. I swear. Oh, menthol-y, like a York peppermint patty without the chocolate. I swear, just the filling. So that's what we're gonna use today. Uh, the razor we're gonna be using is the uh, Christopher Bradley Carb with the D plate. And I don't know if y'all remember, I had said something about the overhang right there. Uh, a fellow YouTuber, Sig Solo messaged me and said, hey man, you need to get the wide body top cap. And I didn't know there was two, but now I do. So that's the reason for the overhang right there. It's because I need to get the wide body top cap, which I will be getting at some point in time. So, because I don't like that overhang. So there you go. Uh, and loaded up in here, we have a uh, Willie's blade. And I've already used this once, fantastic shave. Uh, I didn't use the refreshing mint. I used the vanilla orchid cremo off camera. Yeah, I shave off camera sometimes. So that's the blade we use. We're gonna try to recreate that. So, and finally, the brush we have is the Omega Bore. Let me get out here. The one eleven twenty six with the Ovungal wood handle. And I don't know if y'all can tell. See that paint starting to uh, chip or flake away, whatever. Just be cautious of that if y'all decide to get this brush. Fantastic brush, man. I think it's like a 18 millimeter, 19 maybe. It didn't say, but I'm just assuming. Fantastic brush, if it's good in your hand, great bore brush, but just be mindful of that right there. You know, I know it's aesthetics. It doesn't affect the performance of the brush at all, but if you like that sort of thing, which I do, you know, so, all right, glasses off, and, uh, let's get this mug going, huh? I shaved two days ago, so, two days growth. I got on a regular shirt this morning, as y'all can tell. <laughs> I don't have on my... South Alabama dress shirt. Just joking. Yeah, I joke about myself. Can't make fun of yourself. Who the hell can you make fun of, right? All right, here we go. And to use these, it's just like a deodorant stick, man. Twist at the bottom, twist it up, and just rub it on your face. Now, trust me, it does not take a lot. Just until you can see it because the brush is gonna do the rest. There you go. Well, I'll put a little dab right there. There you go. And you can see it already off the edge right there. So I take this, put it in the brush, and then we're gonna lather. Now keep in mind that when you go to splay, it's going to feel like it's not going to want to uh, lather at first. Don't be afraid. Really get in there. And of course the board brush is holding a ton of water. I need to squeeze it out. There we go. See what I mean? Especially with synthetics, it'll act like it's not wanting to lather. But do not get discouraged. Keep agitating. And a lather will form. All 
Oh man, it's so minty. I swear. This is more minty to me than the Paraso Green. But of course it's, you know, it's a different mint. I think the Paraso is a eucalyptus. This is probably spearmint, you know, peppermint something. All right, just dip the brush, make some water. But as you can see, dude, no problem lathering this stuff. Do not let anybody tell you that you can't. This bull. <laughs> you can tell them, man, that's bull. I've seen it happen. No, oh, man, this stuff sucks. You can't get it to do anything, dude. It's bull. I could probably sit here and play with this for a while and get it as thick as I want it, or as dense, I should say. But that's pretty slick, feel slick. So I'm gonna roll with that right there. And I'm just gonna put the cap back on this. Right there, all right. Yeah, throw it off because I'm wearing a shirt. That's okay. All right, Christopher Bradley, Willis, Willis, Willie's blade. Man, the first time I shaved with this, fantastic, beautiful shave. It really loved the car razor. Still learning it. And like I said, I've heard people say, man, you gotta find the right blade combo. So, an angle with these. Slightly a little bit more of a learning curve, but nothing we can't handle, right? Hope everybody's well, man. Doing great. Got great things planned. Wow. I'm going to be working on some more razor shells today. Doing some sanding. Wow. All right. Beautiful first pass. Now this stuff rinses off. I mean, easy. You, you should see the sink. You know, most soaps kind of clog. Yeah, they don't want to come off the razor. Not this stuff, man. I'm sure it's probably the 11 letter words. But anything that's mass produced like that, it's gonna have you know preservatives and all that crap in it because it has some on shelf and travel and transport and all that stuff. I like this stuff, man, because it's just plenty slick. No problemo. Everybody knows slickness is your friend in the shaving universe. So, this stuff's plenty slick. For me, at least.
And like I said, I don't know if I have hard water or soft water. I've never tested my water quality. Never had a reason to. But I know that plays a factor into, uh, you know, your lathering. But in the process of making soap and getting involved in that, I can tell you that that can be accounted for by the soap makers. There are certain qualities in soap, you know, bubbly, hardness, cleansing, stability, and you can account for that to where I mean, hell, there's soaps that you can lather in seawater and get just a perfect lather if you have the right percentage of fatty acids because that's all soap is, is fatty acids. Saturated and poly and mono and saturated. All right, final pass. So... You know, I've never, I've never tested my water, never had a reason to, but seriously thinking about it, maybe that'll, it'll give me some kind of, you know, a baseline to reference. My soap making. Maybe. Tell you, man, this is Willie's blade cuts beautifully. And I don't know if it's if it's the heaviness of the razor. The razor is pretty damn heavy, being solid brass. I don't know how many grams, but you can go on their website and read everything about it. Like I said, it's got stuff on there about why the handle is gnarled, knurled, knurled, you know, the way it is. So. Matt, I appreciate the blades, brother. Trust me. Fantastic, dude. The Willis. I keep wanting to say Willis. You talking about Willis? <laughs> I keep wanting to say Willis. Willie's blade. Wow. Fantastic, man. That's how I feel around. Smooth three pass right there. Oh, you see that a hair? Natural hair brushes will shed. Do not freak out. Do not. You drive yourself crazy. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Blade buffering. Wow. All right. Rinse that out. Fantastic shave. Beautiful. Cremo, man. Never lets you down. Mmm. Beautiful. That's 
it off with a little bit of warm water. Now let's soak off of you. And just hit it with the cold. feels cold on my face. Mm. Like an iceberg. Whew, it's cold. Wow, fantastic. Minimals. It's water on the shirt. Hey, that's a plus. I'll take that. Alright, Aqua Belva. Ice blue. You know it. Come on, man. No reducer, so finger over the hole. Leave those jokes at the door. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this stuff smells so great. Oh. Minimal burn, too, man. I'm talking minimal. It's fucking fantastic. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Oh. I mean, I don't know what it is about that blade and razor combo, man. God. Almost reminds me of the fat tip and the feather. That shave. And it's fantastic, man. It's like the perfect combo of blade and razor. And I mean, I think, you know, I think that's where we are, man. With the carve, maybe it's the Willie's blade. Oh, Duke Cannon, menthol, mentholated. Um, Let's go all out. Icy cold. Wow. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Standing. Good shave. Same as the first. No nicks. Nothing, man. It's not irritated. Not red. Wow. Thanks for joining me, guys. Fantastic shave. Cremo. I recommend it. A lot of people won't. Don't listen to that hype, man. This is good stuff and it works. Just work it. That lather going. Y'all saw it. Let's get it going. Fantastic stuff. It's slick, protective. It will work. Good stuff. So that's where I'm at. I appreciate. Hey, hold up. Let's let's do this. Probably not a whole lot left in there. That's it. You know, these boars are lather monsters. They eat it up. So that's what's left in there. I've never met met a boar that didn't eat lather so that's where we are guys appreciate you watching have a wonderful day be safe be well be happy be loved love someone hey it's all good in the neighborhood man <laughs> so until next time this is lather addict saying pick up the razor get the shaving enjoy yourself until next time my friends take care